deeper, deeper troubles all the time. Now, chapter 14 says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house are many dwelling place, or many mansions. If you are not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, that you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can you know the way? Well, disciples, Lord Jesus Christ was asking Lord, to show him, to tell him where he goes and what is the way. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Many people through past time, now also, they are asking themselves who to follow. Who is the one can lead us to heavenly realm, to heaven, to build God, to know God, to have his presence, his kingdom in us. Many people believe they're very good man in past time. Many people bow before Buddha, Hare Krishna, uh, or some other so-called saints, religious systems. But they, they, they cannot save themselves, how they can save you or me, anybody. So people have been deceived. But Jesus Christ spoke 2,000 years ago, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. So let's believe Jesus Christ, all of us, because He is the Word of God. He was from the beginning with His Father. He came, born in flesh through Virgin Mary in Bethlehem to save the world. To take sins away from me, from you, from everyone, whoever lived, living now, will live in the future, and give us forgiveness and give us his life from heaven by Holy Spirit who lives in us. So are you like to submit yourself and understand? Need Savior Jesus Christ, you cannot save yourself? So better do it. As you do today, you obey the Lord. The Lord says, that now is the acceptable time, this is the day, now is the hour. So that's calling for you, for your own good. Because if we don't obey Jesus Christ and be his, receive his life from heaven and follow him daily by Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father in us, we are heading to hell, lake of fire, because the destiny of all of us by natural birth is hell and lake of fire. Lord has come to suffer for us, to set us free from devil's power, from hell, and give us his holy life. So it's you. Uh, chose to do it. Lord give us free choice because He loves us so much. He wants us to realize, understand, and then we make me make decision. Now I'm really verse if you have if you had known me, you have known my father also. From now on you know him and seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is sufficient for us. He said to him, Have I been with you so long? And yet you have not known me, Philip. He who has seen me has seen the Father. Can you, so how can you say, show us the Father? Do not believe the time in the Father and the Father in me. The word that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. But Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the words themselves. Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples, then telling us now to everyone who ever believed Jesus Christ while they are still in their bodies, to past time, those who will live in future time also, that he is one with his Father. The works that was done to Jesus Christ was done by God, who is in Jesus Christ. We just the same as our children are born again from heaven by Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's name, we are temple of God, God is in us, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and God is doing, by Holy Spirit, things building us in His character, His perfection, and also in His fruits and gifts to serve, to serve others, just as the Lord Jesus Christ served, by obeying God the Father and proclaiming kingdom of God, 
to Jewish people, he spoke to his disciples to go to other parts of the world, not only be in Jerusalem and Judea Samaria, but everywhere to proclaim the gospel. So they did. And all the believers, servants of Jesus Christ, has been done this for through past time and doing now, special now time, need to preach a message, Jesus Christ coming soon, because signs of our times are so evident. They are here, present. So we know Jesus Christ told us to watch the signs, to know that time is very, very close, near, Lord is coming, day and hour, moment, trickle line, no man knows it. So he tells us to be prepared. I'm preaching, telling people about the, um, every place where I go and radios and TVs, when I'm guests on TVs, and, um, or in churches, uh, need to be prepared, to be filled by Holy Spirit. They have a right knowledge of Jesus Christ, they have a love of his for His appearance, to desire for Him to come for us, because this world is coming to the end. Troubles are so great, going to be even worse yet. Praise God. Verse 13 says, And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that Father may glorify the Son. Many people are thinking, how should I pray? Who must return? But Lord says here to us to know, whatever we ask in my name, that I will do, the Father may be glorified in the Son. Who do ask? God the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, always. And verse 14 says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. He said, well, is it okay, just enough uh, to pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Yes, he said it. He said, Lord Jesus the Christ, I have my needs, but before I bring my needs to you, I'm thankful to you for what you've done in my life. I thank you that you took away from me sadness and troubles and pain and, and all the things that have been such a keeping me down. Alcohol, drugs, uh, all kinds of things, uh, gambling. And he set me free. I'm free. Be free in Jesus Christ's name that me obey God and do his will and be faithful people of God as a person. Because Lord establish new covenant in you as everyone else. That's the new covenant, eternal covenant Jesus Christ has made with everyone, with Jews and non-Jews also. Same. Old covenant was national, but new covenant is a personal. Lord personally make you to be temple of God. Praise God how great this is. And calls you a child. Praise God. And trust your ministry. So verse uh, sorry, 15 says, If you love me, keep my commandments. That's condition. Love Jesus Christ to keep his commandments. He says, If you abide me, and my words abide you, as what you desire shall be done for you. Because he says, If you abide my if you obey my commandments, you abide my love, just as I kept my father's commandment and abide his love. Lord, abide in love of your, uh, um, um, Father because he kept his commandments. So he, what is his commandments? They are commandments, commandments and law by Holy Spirit. Love God the Father who told your heart, soul, spirit, mind and strength. Love your neighbors yourself. That's the calling of the Lord for us to do these commandments. If we do these two commandments, we are definitely on God's authority and His power. We are His temple. We are His servants. We are walking, following Jesus Christ by Holy Spirit and heading to heaven when we are living our body, but also Lord come for us to redeem our body and glorify body from this earthly body, earthly vessel, to glorify vessel as Lord Jesus Christ rose toward the after crucifixion, glorify body, we're going to be just the same, or we're going to be rapture, changed instantly from this corruptible to incorruptible, from this perishable to imperishable. Please, that's the greatest hope we're having. And Lord is coming very soon. Praise God. And now I'm going to ask you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray with me now and say, Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you, come my life and live for me. Forgive my sins and give me strength from heaven. Holy Spirit, and you give to daily power in your life in me. Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you, Lord God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.